All right. Thank God that I have this time. By the grace of God, I have this spare time. Because I'm, most of the time, I'm mostly working. But I have this spare time to... To tell you guys... When I contracted my testimony, when I contracted COVID, you guys, around, it was the end of July, August 1st, I contract COVID from my dad. My dad comes home, he's coughing. My mom, immediately she goes to her room, she picks up a pair of gloves, a mask, and she tells me, don't approach your dad, he has the virus. Get a mask. I'm like, mom, you must be joking, my, my dad, he doesn't have COVID, don't say that. <clears throat> you guys, I approach my dad, I give me a hug. That night, I couldn't sleep, you guys. I couldn't sleep that night. Highest fever I ever had. My head felt, felt like it was going to blow up in pieces. My back, near, section near on my kidneys, lower back, it felt like it was being s squeezed tightly. So much pain. Such a high fever. That night, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was so bad, you guys. I mean, I'm telling you guys. I've never... I've never... had a fever so high like that. I couldn't sleep throughout the night. The next morning... I tell my mom. Mom, I think I have COVID. I'll tell you guys what happened. I'm gonna make this short. I almost died three times, you guys. <laughs> the first night I couldn't sleep. The second day I had no taste, no smell, and I started having shortness of breath, really bad. And second day, third day, I was here home. My car was broken. I broke down and transmission. I had to change it. it cost me three thousand dollars. All my money out the window. So God used my dad to help me. It was so bad guys. I don't wish anybody to get COVID. It was bad. The virus is a real thing, let me tell you. Anybody out there telling you it's not, it is real. If you watch my videos, go back around 2020, I had a dream that I uploaded about the virus. God revealed to me many things, you guys. He said to me, because your mind, your temple is a spiritual temple. You're not going to die. You're not going to lose your soul. But that virus can still touch you. That virus can affect you. You know, it says, No pest shall come near your dwelling. But he revealed to me that that also represents a spiritual temple. It's not going to take your salvation. If you die physically, you go to God's presence in heaven. That's how it is. Because you are a child of God. So, at night, every night I couldn't sleep. I was sleeping three to four hours a day during the daytime. Because every night I couldn't sleep. First night, second night, third night, fourth night, fifth night. On the fifth night, you guys, the fifth day, I was laying in my room and I felt... The walls of my room were shrinking. I felt that I had no air, you guys. I get out of my bed, 
I was asphyxiating. One night, it was like 1 a.m. in the morning. I accidentally fell asleep, left my room, you guys. I was asphyxiating, you guys. Went to the restroom. <laughs> I do not lie, you guys. My face was pale. I look like a vampire. <sighs> I noticed that I'm, I'm starting to turn blue. I'm like, I can't, I cannot wake my dad up. I start, I start breathing. I couldn't breathe, you guys. I couldn't breathe. No strength to breathe. I was sweating profusely my hands and feet. I started turning blue. My dad was sleeping in the living room. I start walking, open the door silently, run through the stair all the way to the first floor. Go to my father's truck. You guys. The second I turn on the truck, I'm like, let me go to the hospital. The hospital here is 700 meters away from my house. I hear guys' voice. It's like, son, if you drive away, you're going to pass away driving. You have to start breathing. I turn on the AC. I start breathing. <sighs> Breathing and breathing, you guys. Breathing, breathing. One minute, I start praying. A little name, God help me. A little phrase, Jesus help me. Breathing. I keep on sweating. I look in the mirror, blue. I'm like dark, you guys. I keep breathing. Second minute, keep breathing. Oh, dear Lord, don't let me die. I hear his voice. You're not gonna die. When he said this, I feel more relaxed. Third minute, breathing. I feel much better. On the fourth minute, I was praying for every single person in every single hospital suffering. Lord bless them. Lord, I'm missing them. Lord, protect them. Lord, let them breathe. Lord, don't let them die without you. Praying, praying, praying for people. I literally felt that my life was slipping away. I felt that I was going to die. I, I was like, this, this is it. And here's the thing. God showed me he has something really great for me. He has a woman. That he has prepared for me. You guys. You cannot believe. How scared I felt. Not for me you guys. I was so scared. I was shaking you guys. I was like. I'm going to lose her. I was telling God. I'm going to lose her God. Don't let me die. Because I'm going to lose her. The woman you have for me, I'm going to lose her. And I said, God, I'm going to die. And he said, you're not going to die. It was one of the scariest moments. Moments I've ever felt in my life. <sighs> I was praying for people. I felt so humble and I was breathing and I was like God it's so good to be healthy it's so good to breathe we take things for granted forgive me I felt that my life squeezing away you guys and I started breathing better second time I felt like that again a few days later I got out of my bed. I was asphyxiating again. I was like, I can't. I can't go to the car. I can't. I was so fed up. I hit the floor of my knees. Jesus. Hit the floor of my knees. Lord Jesus, help me. It went away. 
the feeling of asphyxiation, it went away. I couldn't believe it. it fe but it felt like I was dying, you guys. It felt like death. The third time, I just basically sat on my bed. And I prayed to God. I knelt right here near my this little drawer there. I knelt. I prayed. Felt much better. Only took 14 days. I was healed. Completely. You guys, it was bad. You guys, it was horrible. It was so bad, you guys. <laughs> it was really bad. Let me tell you. The virus is real. We know that there's a big hype about the shot. Get the shot. People that got the shot are getting the virus today. <clears throat> but, you guys, it was bad, you guys. It was a big, horrible experience. I don't wish that on anybody, you guys. I don't wish death on anybody. God doesn't want anybody to die. He wants people to be saved. In John 3.16 says, God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You guys, if you believe, you are saved. God is always going to be with you no matter what anyways I don't want to make this any longer God bless you guys